Oh man, I'm hot. Whew. I could really use some shade right now. Hey! hey. Just talking to my phone. Oh. I promise I'm not delirious. Maybe. Maybe. Morning, guys. <clears throat> Just leaving camp. We got a really late start to the day. I mean, not really late, but it's 7.30. Um, and it's going to be hotter today than it was yesterday. Um, as the heat wave rolls in. Um, good news is I'm at 6.02 and all the way through 608 there's water every couple miles after 608 the next water is until 620 so and it's a mile off a mile and a half off trail so so that kind of sucks um, <clears throat> But it's better than the last two days, so I'm happy. Elevation stuff looks good today. So it should be a good day. It's gonna be warm though. And uh, I'm gonna get hot a lot quicker. Anyways, let's get started. Had a hike 0.4 miles off trail, which is never fun because it doesn't count toward that 6,000, 2,600, and so you're like, eh, do I really want to go off trail? But anyways, my water here and my next water, my next water is 1.4 miles off trail, and that's where I'll camp tonight. Really loving the forest right now. It's it's still kind of sort of high deserty type forest, but. Uh, it's, I, it seems like right on the verge of like actual like mountain, California mountain forest versus just like high desert. Um, what I'm loving about it is I'm walking through a lot of flat stuff. See that? Usually I got a big steep edge on this side and a big steep decline on that side. Right now it's just like walking through a forest, still going up and down stuff, but in a pretty chill way, mostly flat. Or slightly up or slightly downhill it's really nice got a nice little breeze lots of shade so even though it's gonna get hot it's still not unbearable I like it I like it a lot hopefully I get to keep it we'll see
literally as soon as I said I was enjoying the flat forest floor and the trees and the shade. Cactus. That's not good news. Oh, and Joshua trees. Also not good news. It's uh, 12.30 I think. So it's getting right in that hot time of the day. And that heat wave is coming in and whew. There is a slight cool breeze, very, very slight. And maybe it's just me walking and my sweat, I don't know. But, uh, it's getting warm. Look what I just found on the trail. Oops, not that. Two little gummies. They have a little bit of, they have a little bit of sand on them. stuff. Nothing like some good sugar when you need it. Wow. This land is barren. Looks like we're walking into a barren wasteland from what we were in. I am definitely, I love the desert and I would like to do the Arizona trail sometime. But boy, I am sick of the desert. I'm sick of the heat. I'm pretty good in heat, but hiking in the heat is just a little more miserable. Um, especially, and here's the kicker, when there isn't a whole lot of water accessible. Like if we were passing like lots of water, and then then it would be a different story, but. I'm 610 miles into the PCT and just totally excited for getting into Kennedy Meadows to be done with the desert. miles until camp and so it's kind of like do you want a break I mean if I found some good shade I probably would take a break also this section is uphill it's like at least 90 degrees outside. Oh, oh. oh slight breeze. Thank you. Oh, oh 
I'm the sweatiest I've ever been in my life. Ow. It's burning my eyes. Ah. I should not have slept in today. This is what happens when you sleep in in the desert. Then you get a hike during the middle of the day. That or I should have uh, stopped to break with Baloo and banana pants up at that spring that I was first at. I'm only like three miles from the turnoff, I think. Or no, three miles total from the camp. But one thing I've learned is that you can sweat multiple liters an hour. And so if I'm drinking water right now, it's all just going to get sweat out super quick. And even if I pounded all three liters, it would just get gone super quick. One thing I did that I wasn't, that I probably shouldn't have. Oh, that breeze. I'm starting to feel, I'm starting to feel nice that I'm, now that I'm sitting. Whew. I mean, I wish I had a little more shade, but I'm literally like on the trail. Like this is the trail right there. But there's just a little bit of shade with this bush right here. Um, oh, I wanted the water so much. One thing that's kind of annoying with the Sawyer using it, drinking out of it, is it's not super quick. Like it has to be filtered through. And so it's kind of slow going drinking from it. And when you're deathly hot, you don't just want to sit there for a minute to get a little bit of water and so I just took off my filter and drank it so if I get Jardia in the next couple days that's why um, I figured I'd risk it though because I'm super hot and that spring was pretty clean looking oh cleaner than a lot of springs so lunchtime tortillas and cheese also <laughs> vitamin I does it work for uh, heat pain maybe we'll find out I guess Lifestyle of the rich and famous right here. bit off trail um, my next water is about two miles off trail and that's where I'm planning on camping tonight however on gut hook maps you have to hike another like two miles and then go off trail and then take that same road back on trail whereas I found out that there's an alternate path that's more of like a half circle. So you skip like two miles of the PCT, but end up hiking three miles, but it's still shorter than having to go two miles off the PCT and two miles back from the same spot. So doing this, um, hopefully I found the right path. There's a lot of footprints here, so 
makes me uh, confident, but we'll see. Ooh, my first bit of uh, PCT rock climbing here. <laughs> the water it's not really that cold sadly but I'm here I'm in a fenced in area where there used to be a pond and now it just has a uh, you know vegetation and I'm just hiding in the shade right here when it cam comes to hiking the Pacific Crest Trail, my feet definitely got the short stick. You get this really thick dirt that doesn't really come off. It just gets molded on. Even this part's dirty, but that's where my sock is, so it's less dirty. <laughs> just look at my feet. Look at my toenails. Oh. Oh. And my gaiters are supposed to prevent that type of a thing. Uh, but this gaiter is broken. So this side is a little bit cleaner. Oh, still dirty. Look at those feet. Oh man. It's just packed on there. Look at that. Oh my god. Dinner time. Tonight we've got. Um, Parmesan, fettuccine, and spinach pasta, and a Parmesan cheese flavored sauce. The weather has been so nice uh, since I started in the desert sections. Not always super cool, but hasn't been like 90s to 100s hardly ever. And so, I've never really had to do night hiking. But now I am. I'm talking to myself. Okay. <laughs> it's fun. Um, so yeah, that's why I haven't really done any night hiking. Um, however, because this whole section has like really long sections without water the first section was 25 miles then we had like a 14 mile and then like a 12 mile this next section if it doesn't have a cache which this one is less likely to have a cache that's 24 miles without water um, and you can't really bank on the cache so you have to carry all the all the water Anyways, super, super hot days with the big heat wave coming. So most people are uh, doing like uber early hiking, like 3 a.m. or like through the night. Right now, I was at that water for about four hours and now I'm headed out. It's 8 p.m. I'm not sure how far I'll go. If I get tired, I'll sleep for a few hours and be hiking again by 4 a.m.